Laser skin resurfacing is a name given to a procedure where a laser or other technology-based device is used to treat the skin to reduce discoloration, wrinkling, and even sometimes induce some tightening. There are several different categories of skin resurfacing. The first category to become available in the United States was actually the first cosmetic laser treatment we had available at all, which was resurfacing with a very aggressive device known as a CO2 laser. Some patients had prolonged redness, were overtreated, and didn't get the outcomes that they'd hoped for. This led to a generalized decline in the interest in laser resurfacing, and for a period of a few years in the late 90s, we really didn't do anywhere near as much resurfacing as we had just a few years earlier. We then moved to devices that were not aggressive at all. The advantage was there was no downtime, no recovery time, no disasters, but also no results. Some new technology was introduced that does still play an active role in our practices today. In the early part of this century, a newer form of resurfacing was introduced, which we refer to as minimally invasive resurfacing. It's performed in the office, sometimes with the aid of topical anesthetic and sometimes with no anesthesia at all, and does not require a trip to the operating room and general anesthesia, as was the case with the early resurfacing procedures. The downside to this generation of laser treatments is that in order to achieve reasonable outcomes, you have to undergo four to six treatments. Treatments are spaced a couple weeks apart, so you're looking at multiple visits to the office over a period of perhaps two months. We all want something where you don't have to go back to the doctor's office five or six times to get treated. You want to do one treatment and get a better result. This led to the development of our current latest generation of treatments, which is a more aggressive style resurfacing, not as aggressive as where we started in 1994, better than what we were getting even with multiple treatment sessions with the minimally invasive, but not as aggressive as what we had back then. This newest generation of laser resurfacing treatments does require about a week of recovery time, but after a week to 10 days, people can typically resume their normal activities and look really very natural. These newer laser resurfacing treatments can be performed in an office setting, usually just with the aid of topical anesthesia or numbing cream. The recovery period is one which is marked not by discomfort, but just by not looking very pretty. You need to keep Vaseline or a similar agent on your face for about a week. And while you can work from your computer, talk on the phone, and transact business in that manner, you're probably not going to want to be meeting with clients, calling on customers, or even going out socially for a week or so after the treatments. If your skin is brown, wrinkled, or discolored, and you feel like it just doesn't look as fresh as it used to, there's a laser resurfacing option for you. Best way to determine which treatment will fit not only your skin's needs, but your lifestyle's needs, is to come in, sit down, and let us discuss your options.